Yo, what's good, gang? Today we on Barhalla. And if you're watching this video, you are probably one of two people. Either one, you're really bad at the game, but you want to get better. So good for you. You made it to the right channel. Or two, you already did the game, and you got nothing better to do. But if that's the case, uh, either way, keep watching because I need my views and watch time. Put it out the way. Uh, let's get started. So I would say number one best way to get good at Brahalla, and I guess this is pretty obvious, but it's literally just play the game. If you play the game enough, you'll start to learn things that you'll start to learn things subconsciously that'll get you better at Brahalla just by literally playing the game. You'll get to memorizing character sigs and all that, and it'll it'll definitely help you with spacing stuff. Number two, I guess this may sound kind of counterintuitive, but stick to one or two like weapons. So. Pick a weapon that you really like, like for me it was bow, you stick to the weapon and you just keep playing that weapon, you get really good at it. So if you're going into ranked or something like that, you have a dedicated few characters that you can play and you'll be like the best at. Number three, learn all the true combos for the weapons that you're going to be using. So basically what a true combo is, if you don't know, it's a combo that you can't dodge or jump out of. Basically it's just a combo you can't escape from. So, I'm not going to teach you any true combos in this video because this is not what this video is about. But there's a bunch of other people, a bunch of other guides that have all the true combos you need. So, you can go ahead and go over there after you finish watching this video. Again, I need my views and watch time. Please and thank you. But, you can go over there and learn all the true combos that you need. It's uh, literally a must-have because it's going to be your main source of damage when you're attacking people. Number four, watch your own replays. If you watch your replays and you can see the mistakes you're doing, you'll know. You'll keep a mental note in your mind, even if, like, not intentionally. You'll make a mental note in your head and you won't do the mistake again. So if you watch your replays, it's going to help you grow exponentially. Number five, I'll say play with friends. If you play with friends, you'll have a, like, competitive spirit and you'll try to both make each other better and you'll get better really fast. But keep try to get different sparring partners don't keep versing the same person because eventually it'll just come to a point where you know his play style so you're playing to play against this play style you're not actually getting better so you want to play with a bunch of people but keep switching it up every time you usually want to play with somebody that's a bit better than you but you can also play someone that's a little bit less than you but you always want to keep playing with different people now number six is don't play the game too often again I know this might sound very counterintuitive but if you play this game like 10 hours a day like a fucking madman you're just gonna end up getting burnt out and you're gonna take the longest break you might even quit playing the game and you're just gonna you're gonna be just sick and tired of playing this game because this game will get you real mad real fast sometimes which how the way people play and just six spam and stuff like that so Take your time with the game, and trust me, you'll eventually get better. It's not its not a race. Everyone gets better at their own pace, so just take your time. Number seven, I know this might sound kind of boring, but study the frame data. Uh, you can go into training mode, turn on hitboxes, see where what attacks hit where. Learn some dodge reads while you're at it, too, you know what I'm saying? This will all help you out in the long run. So if someone dodges, you're not just stuck there like an idiot. You can actually counter their dodge and keep going out with your combo, and it's really going to help you go far. Number eight, participate in tournaments. If you participate in tournaments, you're going to find people that are a lot better than you and some people that are almost around your skill level. And it, if you just keep participating in those tournaments, you're eventually going to get better and going to get on their skill level. And you might eventually actually win some. So participate in as many tournaments as possible. And, you know, just have fun with the game, you know what I'm saying, man? Number nine, don't take the game too seriously, you know what I'm saying? If you take the game too seriously, you're just going to end up getting mad every time something bad happens. And then once you get mad, you actually just play a lot worse than you usually do. So try to keep your calm and don't just don't take the game too seriously, man. It's just a game. And the most important of them all, number ten, subscribe to your boy.